Uh, we knew that Georgia State wanted to come in here and get as many offensive rebounds as they can. That's part of our identity. So we made it a point in every single huddle and every single little huddle we have on the court um, in halftime. Every moment we had a free chance, we were saying, box out, box out, box out. And that was, that was the main focus of the game. And I think um, when we needed it, we got it done. Lacey, you kind of found your groove at the free throw line today. Um, was there any point in the game where your, your shot really wasn't falling so you just decided you were going to draw fouls? Um, you know, some days it's not going to fall. I mean, I got to do what I got to do for my team. Um, so, yeah, um, I try to attack the basket as much as I can to draw those fouls. Um, it seems like as the, as the game went on, they uh, were just getting second chance shots sometimes, but then you guys really shut that down, especially late. I think you guys closed out with the last 330, not letting them score. Um, what did the defense do, especially in that stretch, to, to keep them from getting what they wanted to do? I think the main focus on um, defense was talking um, to each other and, um, like Jenny said, making sure we box out and finding a body. And like she said, when we needed it, we got it done. Jenny, after the game, Coach, was, you guys were really excited. She's 6-0 and at home. What does that mean going into conference play, having that confidence of back-to-back -back wins, having lost at home? It feels good because uh, it draws more fans, and we have we have good fan support here, and that gets all of us excited. It gets the coaching staff excited. It gets the players excited, and we really feed off of that. And when you're winning at home, people want to come watch you play. And we've performed, and all of us deserve to have that out there, and I, I hope to see that as we go into um, conference play. Thoughts on having a double-double today? I mean, that's uh, <laughs> not a bad day at the office. Yeah, I mean, I'll do whatever it takes for our team to win. And regardless of what it is on the boards, um, you know, getting steals, getting blocks, scoring the ball, whatever it takes, I know Lacey feels the same way. We're going to do what we have to do for our team to win. Yep. Lacey, it seemed like early on, especially in the first half, they were blowing the whistle any time <laughs> they wanted to, it seemed. How tough was that for you and some of the other players to play with three fouls, three, two, three fouls all the way through and, and keep that composure? Um, when you have three fouls like that in the first half, you just got to play smart. You got to. I mean, you can't draw stupid fouls, so um, being smart is the main key. Did you guys do anything, like talk about anything at halftime specifically, like we need to do this, where we were doing this, did anything change? Um, um, on, the, on our zone, we were the, um, they were letting the middle, we were letting the middle um, open. So we fi I believe that we fixed that in the second half.